Nearly 30 years ago, County Executive Dennis Greenhouse made the difficult decision to lease the heavily indebted Wilmington Airport, owned by the Newcastle County, to the Delaware River and Bay Authority for a single dollar annually. At this time, it was a decision that the county needed to make for the basic financial well-being. This 30-year lease will expire 2025 according to the terms of the lease. The county must determine by June 2020 whether the county intends to renegotiate or terminate the lease. With that timeline in mind, it is critical that the Newcastle County will begin to review their process regarding the use of that critical asset, one of the most valuable assets your county government owns. In studio today, to talk more about this topic, I have County Executive Matt Meyer. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Ivan. It's good to be here. So tell me more about this lease and, and, and this fiat. I don't want to call it a fiasco, but this thing that you're about to fix. Well, look, airport. look, we need to create jobs. Right now in the country, there are 7 million job opportunities, open job opportunities, and there are 6 million unemployed people, which means there are all these unemployed people and there are all these jobs, but the unemployed people don't have the skills to get the jobs that are available. Nowhere is that clearer to me than in the aviation and avionics industry. Okay. We, we have this airport uh, that's been around since I was a kid. It's been here. I think anyone that grew up here knows a little bit about the airport, but it's not creating the kind of jobs we need to be, be creating for the people who really need them across our county. Right, right. And that's one of, that's been one of your biggest things that you've been standing on since 2016. You run early in 2016 is more job creation, right? That's right. We need to create jobs on all levels of the economic spectrum, both for places like Insight, which is literally curing cancer right here in Augustine Cutoff, north of Wilmington, to things like Dot Foods, a company we brought here, the largest food redistributor in North America that's created over 100 jobs, creating opportunities for unskilled people. If you're 18, 20 years old, looking for work, you can get a job with them, make a decent salary, work hard for four, five, six years, make six figures, make $100,000 a year. This is similar to that, where we're forming a task force to look at how we can use the airport better to provide, particularly young adults, opportunities they otherwise wouldn't have. So two things, real quick. One, uh, not one, but congratulations on the dot, dot foods. That's huge for the state of Delaware. That is really, really huge. Two, um, other airports that size, what are they doing? And what are we going to do to get, like, real close to that? Well, when you look at airports around the country, there's been this problem for a long time. Delaware, uh, Detroit City Airport in Detroit, Michigan. There's a larger airport about the same distance from that airport as we are here from Philadelphia International Airport. Philadelphia Airport's pretty convenient. You know that for a lot of residents in Newcastle County, Philadelphia Airport is actually closer than people who live in the city of Philadelphia. Detroit City Airport has the same issue. What they've done is they've partnered with a technical high school. They now have an avionics pilot training programs at the airport. So you have kids in high school who can come out and earn $60,000, $70,000 a year right out of high school. And then within a few years, be on a path to being a serious senior experienced pilot or avionics, someone who can fix airplanes. So basically, this is this is just future thinking, looking looking way ahead of time. Because when you look at it, now you go through your Facebook feed, like I went through mine, and I see, uh, like like you said, the pathways: high school, colleges, and especially Delaware State University. Shout out to DSU, and they have a new, um, like they just received what twelve planes, eleven planes. That's right. DSU has an extraordinary program in Dover. Uh, Dell Tech has an amazing program in Georgetown. And young adults are coming out of those programs making $70,000 a year. Again, within five to 10 years, they're making $100,000 a year. It's providing an avenue, a tool for young people to get jobs that will last a lifetime. We need one of those right here in Newcastle County. Oh, my gosh. That's a, that is simply amazing. You talked briefly about your task force. Let's touch on that for a second. So your task force is led by... Um, Alan Levine, right? Right. Who else you got on your task force? So Alan, I should say, was former Secretary of Economic Development. He's one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Delaware history. He took Happy Harry's, which I assume many of you uh, have heard of. He took it to a drugstore chain that had about 19 stores to one that had well over 100 and sold it off. He's got the business acumen and also the historical knowledge of the airport. Also a lot of knowledge about the port, which potentially could be an asset that works with the airport. Mm -hmm. Also on the task force is Dr. Laura Johnson of Dell Tech, officials from Dell State, and all sorts of officials from industry. Corteva, the new agri-science company that spun off 
of DuPont, yeah. Buccini Poland, so you have some land developers there, in addition to a number of aircraft experts. We have another small airport in Newcastle County, Summit Aviation is there just south of the CND Canal outside Middletown. Someone from Summit Aviation is on the task force and a number of other individuals as well. It sounds to me that you have the, the Stephen Curry, the, the Golden State of Task Force. It's the Golden State of Task Force. We've also included someone like uh, Debbie Bullock, who has experience, obviously, in the community, knows the Route 9 corridor, has a sense of how the community can really benefit from the airport unlike it ever, ever has before. She also has been a flight attendant, so she knows a bit about the airline industry as well. Nice, nice. Now that we have, we know who's, who's the, the, um, the task force is, and would they, they, would their, I would, excuse me, what I want to know is, what are they going to look into? So, here's the deal. As you mentioned, in 1995, the county signed a 30-year lease for a dollar a year for the Delaware River Bay Authority, the same authority that runs the Delaware Memorial Bridge, takes the tolls, for them to operate this airport. That lease expires in 2025. So 2025, that's still six years away. We don't need to worry about that, right? Well, we kind of do. Because if we don't uh, terminate the lease by June of 2020, it will automatically renew until 2055, right. so 30 years on. So the main thing I've asked the task force is what do we do with this lease? Should we continue it? Should we talk to Delaware River Bay Authority and renegotiate it? Or should we go in a completely different path. Something like what Piedmont Triad Airport did in North Carolina. They're in the shadows of Raleigh-Durham, similar to how we're in the shadows of the Philadelphia International Airport. Right. For years, they were unable to attract commercial airline service there. So what they did is they set up an aviation training program there that now Honda Aircraft, which is a big aircraft manufacturer, announced uh, that they're setting up shop there. They're creating jobs now, $75,000 a, a, a person. So we're looking at all sorts of opportunities to manage that airport, and that's what the task force will be doing in the next six months. Nice, nice, nice. What's the timeline on this? Timeline is, as I mentioned and as you mentioned, decision needs to be made by June 2020. We've asked the task force to report back in April 2020. Their meetings will be open to the public, and you can get information uh, on the county website. Thank you. I appreciate it. Matt, um, excuse me, county executive, next time you, you got something going on, please stop by the studio and let us know so that people can know what's going on um, in the new, new the, is, it, is it easy to say the new Newcastle County? The new Newcastle County. I like it. Thanks, big guy. I mean, thanks, manager of <laughs> DETV. I appreciate you. For more information and positive news, be sure to check out DETVCH.com, and uh, we'll see you on the other side.